Okay, so in order to make vichyssoise, we're going to need some ingredients. And what are they going to be? First off, it's going to be potatoes, peeled. I'm using red potatoes. You can use gold potatoes. You can even use regular potatoes, but I happen to like the creaminess and flavor of red potatoes. We're going to need leeks. Okay, you use the white and some of the green, and after it's blended, it's all going to be white anyway. We're going to use some butter to saute the leeks down. This is going to be the non-vegetarian version. Chicken stock, okay, to simmer the potatoes and the leeks down. I'm going to add a little bit of white onion to contrast the taste. Some half and half for the consistency and the creaminess. For garnish, we're going to use chives, chive spears, and finely chopped chives and a dollop of sour cream. It's a very simple dish, very tasty dish. I'm making a modified version of the classic Julia Child's recipe. So let's get cooking. Okay, the first order of business is you need to melt some butter in your skillet. You don't want the butter to burn and you don't want the butter to turn brown, so you melt it down gently. Some of the plain white onions. and the leeks. You want to sweat these leeks down. You want them soft. You want them soft and you want them translucent. So we'll turn the heat up just enough to get them cooking. But as I said, you don't want any of this to caramelize and you don't want any of the butter to burn or turn brown. It should only take a few minutes for these to saute down and get soft and uh, we'll be right okay. back. While the leeks are sweating down, we're just going to add a little salt. Because the salt will help in the sweating. It also helps to build some flavor layers. And just a little dash of black pepper. Now don't worry, I know you're seeing black pepper, but you won't really see the black pepper in the finished product. It'll be hidden. And just a little bit of black pepper. And we'll move that around. and I'll continue to let that sweat down and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, the leeks and the white onions are perfectly sweated. See, nothing's caramelized, nothing's burned, there's no brown butter. This is gonna get transferred into a stock pot or if you have a large, large sauce pot would be fine, but I'm gonna use a small stock pot. This is gonna get transferred into that. Potatoes added and chicken stock, hang on tight and I'll show you how it goes. Okay, so here we go. First thing, potatoes go in the pot. Second thing, the leeks and the onions go on top of the potatoes. Okay. Get it all level. And then, you want to cover the potatoes and the leeks in chicken stock. You just want to get it covered. Right about there. Give it a little stir. I have a little chicken stock left over so that when I blend this, if it's a little too thick, I can thin it down. Just cover it. There you go. Okay. Mix it in. Mix them together. Now, by the way, you can make this as just potato leek soup and eat it just as it is, as potato leek soup, and add some bread and cheese to it like it was French onion. But for all intents and purposes, we're going to bring this to a boil, and then we're going to bring it to a simmer. Add a little touch of salt, building the layers, tiny touch of black pepper, because we're building the layers. Give it a quick mix. Get the pepper and the salt in there. Here we go. We're going to bring this to a boil, and then we're going to reduce it to a simmer. See you in a bit. 
Okay, so now the soup mixture is boiling, and this is where we want it. Now usually I'll let it boil for about a minute or two, which I'm doing right here. And then what we're going to do is after it boils for about a minute or two, we're going to turn the heat down to a simmer, which I'm going to do right now. We're going to put a lid on it, and we're going to let it simmer for about 30 minutes or so until the potatoes get soft and the leeks get even softer. I'll see you soon. Okay guys, the soup mixture has been simmering for about 35 minutes. The potatoes are nice and soft. The leeks are nice and soft. And before I put this in a blender, because I don't have a stick blender, I'm going to mash these a little bit with a potato masher just to get the potatoes started because it'll make it that much easier on my blender to mash the potatoes if they're in smaller manageable pieces. So I am just going to mash these potatoes into the leeks a little bit, a kind of a pre-puree, and then we'll get to blending it. So hang on tight. Okay. Okay, so here's the potato leek soup, and I'm going to puree this into vichyssoise. It's going to take about two, two and a half servings of this size in this blender to get it all done. I'm doing it this way because I don't have a stick blender. I'm going to take the pureed soup, I'm going to put it in this bowl, and then after it's all in this bowl, I'm going to put it right back into the stock pot. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for about two hours to get it really, really cold, and then we're going to serve soup. So let's start blending. Okay, so here we are. This is chilled vichyssoise. I only have one more step to go before I place it in a bowl, and that is to add some half and half. You can use whole whipping cream if you want, or you could use part half and half and part whipping cream. But I like to use half and half. Okay. Like to mix it in there. Mix it in there well because it gives the vichyssoise its lovely white color. And just another added level of flavor. You just mix that in there well. Make sure it goes to the bottom. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Okay, so here it is. Vichyssoise. I'm going to bowl it and let you see what it looks like decorated. And then I'm going to eat my dinner. Okay, guys, so here we go with the final touches for a big bowl of vichyssoise. To garnish it the right way, put a nice healthy dollop of sour cream right in the center, and it might disappear, and that's okay, because you can always put another mm, sour cream. Love it. All right, now we're gonna decorate it a little bit. Okay, here we go. Take a couple of spears of chive. Not that I'm a Rembrandt, because believe you me, I am not. Okay. Then, we take some chives. Go around the outside. There we go. I love chives. I love chives on my potato, and I love chives on my vichyssoise. Quiet bird. The bell's being rung by my cockatiel, Gizmo. I know some of you have uh, left me some comments or left me some private messages that you'd like to see. This little noise-making bird, and I'll get around to it eventually because he is a noise-making bird. All right. There it is, guys. One bowl of vichyssoise. 
Okay. I hope you enjoy it. This is a great recipe. It's easy to make. It's a French classic. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Okay guys, so there you have it. Vichyssoise, the classic soup of the summers of France. Brought to you from my kitchen to yours. It's a delicious recipe. It's simple to make. I hope you try it. And if you like this video, you can find this recipe on my blog. I appreciate you stopping by tonight. You all take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.